cloudy. It's cloudy look back to China. You know what I'm saying? If you, you ain't checked out my last video, make sure you go and check it out. You know what I'm saying? We got a scary video today. You feel me? More scary videos coming up because obviously Halloween is on the way. You know what I'm saying? So expect more scary videos along with the basketball videos. You know the season starts today. Feel me? Today. We got a video from Mr. Nightmare, a long time coming. Three disturbing true Halloween horror stories, but we only doing one. It's been a minute since I did, bro, uh, videos, like a long time, bro. I think it's been like This is a disturbing now. memory from my young childhood. I was about seven or eight bro, years old. Stories. My mom would usually take my brother and I trick-or-treating, but this particular year after school, she dropped me off at my friend Sean's house, where Sean, our friend Johnny, and I would go together. Johnny and okay. Sean were a year older than me. We met while I was playing with my brother on the block. Johnny and Sean lived around the block from me. Sean this had a weird upbringing writing. that I never really understood. His sister was like 20 years See, that I ain't gonna lie, bro. When you, when you, look, be honest, bro. And I know, I know a lot of y'all gonna be like, damn, Clay, that's fucked up. Bro, if you got a friend and they had a weird upbringing, bro, you got to keep an eye on them, bro. Because you got to expect, you got to expect them to somewhat pick up some of those habits, you know. And those habits could be very dangerous, you know. I know that's your friend, but don't make them your best. You know what I'm saying? You got to watch them, bro. You need to know the backstory of every friend you have. Years old. You. There was a big gap between them. You got to know. She was always his caretaker, it seemed, whenever I was at his house. His house always smelled like well, cat, and his funny. sister always had a different guy over, it seemed like. His sister was always cold to me, sister in the sense that she dude. never acknowledged me or say hi or anything. <laughs> Sean's dad was never in the picture, and his mom, I believe, was always working out of town, I guess. I only met Sean's mom a few times. <clears throat> we never really stayed in touch for long enough for me to figure like all this out. Mom was the house anyway, lot, my mom dropped me off at Sean's, expecting that cool Sean's mom up. would be trick-or-treating with us. After saying she goodbye, wasn't. I went into his house. Johnny was already there. We all had big pillow sacks to fill with candy. This was around the time that I learned that neither Sean's mom nor his sister were coming with us to supervise. I was young, no, so I sort of felt slightly uncomfortable like knowing that Johnny and Sean would be leading the way. But at the same time, I felt a sense of excitement that we'd have more freedom. I knew for a fact my mom would not have approved of us going unsupervised, though. So eventually, yeah. we were all into the neighborhood, old girl, walking around doing old, our rounds so you know, door to door. Kind of Quite a few people asked if we were alone or where our parents were, and Johnny would always wait, be. Wait, 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 hold on. I knew for a fact my mom would not have felt slightly uncomfortable were coming with us to supervise. This was around the time that I learned that neither Sean's mom nor sister were coming with us to supervise. Nope, right there, bro. As a parent, this is where you put your foot down. You know what I'm saying, but. This happens, I'm gonna be honest, this happens a lot. If you're taking your kid over to your friend, uh, to your kids, or if you're taking your kid over to his friend's house and you're expecting one of the older folks to actually watch them go trick or treating, bro, you're, you, you, you slow. You know, but it's not happening, bro. They're not gonna watch them kids, bro. They're gonna tell them go and come back. They're gonna be like, do not go around this block or that block, come straight back. And you know, that's not gonna happen, bro. So when y'all leaving y'all kids with other people, bro, that's just, it's not. I was bro. young, so I sort of felt slightly uncomfortable knowing that Johnny and Sean would be leading the way. But at the same time, I felt a sense of excitement that we'd have more freedom. I knew for a fact my mom would not have approved of us going unsupervised, though. So eventually, we were off into the neighborhood, walking around <laughs> doing our rounds door to door. Quite a few people asked if we were alone or where our parents were. And Johnny would always be the one to use the same lie, that his mom is up ahead with his sister. It worked every time. This was on a Friday, so we didn't get to start a trick-or-treating until around 5 o'clock. I mean, it's not bad that people school ask the next day, still is so we intended on going time. until our pillow sacks were completely full. We took a break after a couple of hours and went to Sean's, where he heated up a bunch of frozen pizzas. Oh, so they made it back to At the, the time, I was so jealous of the apparent freedom he had in his house, not having parents who cared about what he did. But looking back now, I count myself super blessed to have grown up in a household with two strict parents. After we hung out at his house for an hour and watched Halloween specials on Nickelodeon while eating pizza and candies, Johnny eventually was picked up by his mom. But Sean and I wanted to keep going, 
so we eventually headed back out for round two. It was dark out now, and it had it had to be past. At this point, bro, it's the kids' fault, bro. They got no survival skills at all, bro. Even at seven and eight, I had enough survival skills to know, bro. I'm not going outside when it look this dark outside. I look apart. You know what I'm saying? It's not I look apart with the people. I look apart with the nature, nigga. I'm, bro, nobody can see me. So if I get snatched up, people just going to think somebody holding a shadow in their hand. Bro, me and my homie Amaje, bro, it was, it was me, my friend Amaje, my brother, and his friend Q, right? It was just there. It was just us at uh, nighttime at the crib. And we used to watch the show Teen Wolf because I used to come on a lot. You know what I'm saying? If y'all want to skip the story, go ahead. But if y'all don't, just listen. You know what I'm saying? Me and the homie Amaje, we, we all wanted to eat, but we wanted to eat separate things. So me and the homie Amaje went to the other side to go get Wiener Schnitzel. And my brother and Q went to go get something else. I forgot what they went to go get. But they went to the, a whole different direction, bro. It was nighttime. Me and the homie Amaje walked to Wiener Schnitzel, bro. <laughs> I shit you not, bro. We got to Weeder Schnitzel, bro. We thought some people was following us. When I tell you, we ran full speed to the crib, bro. It was a, bro, the walk was 20 minutes, but when we ran, bro, that shit turned into five. Yeah. Right, bro. At this point, there were a lot less trick or treaters now. Well, yeah, because we tried to bro, go to certain yeah, blocks we hadn't gone them. down yet, which meant straying further away from Sean's house. We found and bro, a nah, bro, and the street looked like this, bro. Why are you going out if the street looked like this? Why does the street look like this? You know what I'm saying? Bro, somebody had to put lights out there, bro. This, I, I would hate to be in the country like this, bro. This would scare me, bro. Why Why are they making countries and cities where there's no lights on the streets, bro? This is like, this is snatchstreet.com, bro. We I'm telling you, bro. Yet, like, continued knocking on doors. Some houses didn't answer at this hour, and mostly everyone else had a comment about us being alone or how it's getting late. We noticed a man pushing a stroller a couple houses down behind us. He was walking very slowly in our direction. Probably a dad I ran, see, look, for his young that, child. I would have ran. As we continued going Me door to door, the man ran. with the stroller got closer. Eventually, we heard him going shh and singing softly. Eventually, he caught up to us and he said, How's the trick or treating going, boys? And we replied, Good, at the same time. And then he said, It's pretty late. I'm on my way back to my house. I can give you guys the rest of my candy. Sean and I looked at each other with telling faces, as if we just hit the jackpot. Yeah, Sean asked man. what kind of candies, and he said a bunch of bags of different things. He said he didn't get to give much away because he wanted to take his daughter out for a trick-or-treat stroll. He did have a bag dangling on one of the handles of the stroller. But was, was it a baby in there? Candies. The stroller was fully covered by a folding piece on the top, so we couldn't see his daughter. He said she's asleep and he didn't want to wake her up, but he pointed ahead and said his house is just up this way. So we followed behind him as he pushed the stroller. Bro, these kids, bro, you cannot, bro, I don't care how old you are, bro, you cannot be this green, bro. They follow dude back to his crib. Bro, that means the parents ain't taught them nothing, bro. Bro, even when you a kid, parents be like stranger danger. You know, they had none of that, bro. They, they senses was completely off. And I know bro was a kid, but he grown now. You know what I'm saying? So I can say something. Bro, you had no survival skills at this age, bro. Your mama, dad didn't tell you nothing about strangers. They said everybody's your friend. Bro, this is crazy. They followed this dude back to his crib. Bro, that is crazy, bro. I would have ran. Me and the homie Amaje would have ran, walking bro. a little faster now. As we I walked, guess that's the person growing up in different neighborhoods. There was next to no one else you know out saying? at this point. Even though it was a Friday night, it seemed like a quieter side of the neighborhood. Well, uh, could I say I'm a suburban? Walked, asking us questions. <laughs> part of the neighborhood we were Bro, from, this is this some we real school, suburban mentality school. right here, bro. And let Sean answer I, most I gotta of the questions. I got to say, bro, this, this suburban Him being even just a year older than me at that age, I felt like he was the one who should take lead. On multiple occasions as we walked, That's the crazy, man would bro. lean into the stroller and talk in a high pitch to his daughter. Bro he put his friend in front first. Us. We finally made it to his house. He led us up the walkway with the stroller and unlocked his door. After he opened it, he brought the stroller with his daughter inside first, and then invited us to come inside. Sean led the way, so I followed. I was the one to ask if we could leave the door the house, open. Bro. And the man paused, and then said, yeah, of course. 
He said he'll be right back as he goes to get the candy bags. He pushed the stroller into the middle of the Bro, the bro. You should let your homie Sean go in the house by himself. I'm gonna be honest, bro. He walked in there by himself and you follow suit because he's the oldest, bro. Yo, your friend is a bad role model. Let's be let's start there, bro. Y'all got y'all. If anybody's in Cloudyville today listening to you, boy. Watch out for homies like that. Bro, let him take the lead. He was like, bro, whatever you do, I trust you. You know what I'm saying? Because you the oldest, you the homie. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna you're gonna keep it safe. Bro followed this random man into his house. I would have been like, bro, let me see the baby. I don't bro. Seven years old, I'm telling you, bro, my survival Living skills. Room, only about ten feet skills, away from where we were standing. Top tier. Top I tier, nudged so. Sean because I felt uncomfortable. I he whispered, why house. would he leave the candy so far away? Sean didn't respond. Instead, he turned toward the living room and then walked up to the stroller. He lifted up the folding part that was covering the baby, and he looked disturbed. He hurried back to me, whispering, let's go. He was full on running once we got outside, and I followed behind, which was a bit tougher because we had those heavy pillow sacks. I still was confused about what he saw, but just then, we heard a woman's voice yell, excuse me. It was one of his neighbors. She came running over to us and asked if we know that man. And it was at this point that Sean spilled the beans and said he offered us, offered us his leftover candy, but he was pushing a stroller with a fake baby in it. I remember getting goosebumps as he said that. Nah. Your homie Sean is a bad friend, but at the same time, he was on his P's and Q's, I guess, at the last moment, which wasn't good, but it helped, you know. But he, his 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 P's and Q's started going off. You know what I'm saying? He had his spider senses going off at the last moment. And it got him out of there. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie. I wouldn't even trust the lady either, bro. I would have I looked at the lady, told her what happened. I would have ran home, bro. I, I wouldn't even trust going to her house. You know what I'm saying? You can't trust you can't trust the woman either, bro. They they could do the same thing the man can do. You know what I'm saying? Bro, your survivor skills got to be The woman said, here, bro. yeah, that man doesn't have a you child. Got your kids I saw young, you hey, walking by bro. with him. She took us to her car and drove each of us home. I know, getting into a stranger's them, car after that yeah. was another Hell question. Nah, bro. Yeah, the woman came to skills. my front door to talk to my mom about what we just told her. My mom was distraught. Shout after out to I the told woman, her every she last detail about crazy. the night, she, she sent me to my room while my parents called the police on that man. My parents never told me anything about what happened after that. I believe they wanted to shelter me from any more exposure to the situation. My mom didn't want me going over to Sean's house anymore, and I know she had quite a bit Damn. to say to Sean's mom. I did see Sean at school once in a while still, and we'd remain cordial, but our friendship was never the same after that night. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, your mom didn't make a bad decision, because your friend Sean, you know what I'm saying, like, look, y'all both was young, y'all both young, but... Yo, homie Sean was the oldest in the situation, so therefore, most of it usually falls on the oldest person in the group. You know what I'm saying? He followed this old man and let you in, and led you in this man's house. And he, he got you out the house safe, indeed. He got you out the house safe, indeed. But what if his spider senses didn't go off in time? You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all got lucky. And then y'all hopped in a random lady car after that. Y'all made two bad decisions, and God was there with y'all, bro. Whoever's, whoever's running the universe, they had y'all back. You know what I'm saying? They had y'all back for sure. But y'all be careful this Halloween, man, because stuff like this can't happen. You know what I'm saying? If y'all got little siblings and stuff, make sure they are accounted for, bro, because them little kids will walk out the house and go trick-or-treat by themselves, bro, if you don't take them. I'm telling you. So make sure they accounted for before you walk out the house. You know what I'm saying?